Hi folks, my name is Jeff Rugrock. This is the third in a series of five PowerPoint presentations talking about sanitary units. The definition that we use for sanitary unit comes straight out of the Ontario Building Code Division A, Part 1412 Defined Terms. Sanitary unit means a water closet, a urinal, bidet, or bedpan washer. That's simple. So far, we have covered some definitions like such as soil pipe and soil stack. We have talked about water closets. Now we're on to number three, which is bedpan washer or clinic service sink. Bedpan washer service cl clinic service sink. Um, they're essentially the same thing or variations of the same thing. And we'll get into it, um, however awkward it seems to be, we'll get into it and I'll show you some of those associations. First off though, what is a bedpan? Well, a bedpan is used underneath um, your butt if you're in the hospital and unable to leave your bed. So a caregiver um, collects your, your feces or your urine into this pan and then empties and cleans the bedpan, that's what it's called, a bedpan, um, into a bedpan washer. There are different kinds, uh, but it's, which we'll get into, but the language used to describe bedpan washers is incredibly unclear. Uh, in drainage codes, it might be referred to as a bedpan washer. Manufacturers would call it a clinic service sink. And then in the distribution codes, also the Ontario Building Code, it has a mix of all of them. So we're gonna go through that, take a moment just to describe it to you. This same th thesaurus type approach where you have this all these similes that kind of sort of mean the same thing, but don't, um, You'll find this everywhere throughout the building code. So it's a great example of how you have to really read the building code carefully with professional knowledge. So uh, just to give you a sense of what's coming your way, bedpan washer is an overused term to describe the fixture as a whole and its component parts. So that's the overarching term, but there are some specifics such as a sink clinic service with faucet. Um, and that's just a bedpan washer that is accompanied by a faucet for cleaning up the, the bedpan. Then you also get a um, sink clinic service with a direct flush valve. And that's because a lot of bedpan washers are very similar to a toilet. So that when you empty the bedpan into the bowl, you simply give it a flush with a direct flush valve. So, here are some examples of the conflicts um, or similarities between bedpan washers and clinic service sinks. So if you like, you can get out your Ontario Building Code and turn to code 7493 or the tables and look at item number five. Uh, the fixture listed is a bedpan washer. That's a toilet-like fixture that you see below here. Very similar to a toilet, commercial toilet except it's square. These edges are usually capped in stainless steel, so you can bang out the bedpan washer, get all the poo or pee into this bowl, and then there'd be a flush valve on top of here, you give it a flush. Unfortunately, the manufacturers don't call this a bedpan washer, they call it a clinic service sink. So the manufacturers or the industry at large is at odds with the um, Ontario Building Code here. But again, Get out your thesaurus and these they mean essentially the same thing. The valve that would sit on top of this um, clinic service sink, you will find that if you turn to 7632A, which is the supply size tables. You'll see it under, well, options are number six, bedpan washer, but really number 26, sink clinic service. So that's this with direct flush valve, which is this valve here. Of course, manufacturers don't call it that. They refer to it as a bedpan washer kit. In this case, it's got a flush valve, plus this little wand would pull down, um, and then water would come out of that for spraying out. This is just a, like a hand spray, but a rigid one for spraying out the bedpan and, and giving it a good rinse. Anyways, uh, so that's one such combination or option and the codes to seek 
when you're looking at it. So that is number five from 7493 and number 26 from 7632A. Uh, again, this is the specs for that one you just saw and they call it a service sink. Remember that this particular fixture is the same as a toilet in that it has the be a little splash zone in there. And then the S trap. And remember again, when you're talking trap standards such as this, uh, you don't draw the S trap or the trap standard on a drawing. So the piping on something like this would simply, you wouldn't see the red part, you'd just see the green part. You'd see the pipe going off, maybe with a vent coming up, something like that. But the piping would stop right there. Anyway, so that gives you a sense of what to look for there. Uh, this is the kit, this is the washer kit, just a close up view. Again, the flush valve for flushing the toilet like clinic service sink and the wand that pulls down and then you can spray out the bedpan. By the way, a bedpan shaped just like a toilet seat. Except it's a pan. So that's that's one option. But if you'll take a look at 7632A item number 25, you will find uh, that you can also get a, a faucet with a hand spray for cleaning up the bedpan. And this is called a clinic service sink with faucet. So item number 25 of the bill of uh, 7632A. And again, the manufacturers don't call it a clinic service sink with faucet. They call it a bedpan washer because that's what it actually does. It washes the bedpan. So if you had to choose between a bedpan washer or a wall faucet, it is in fact both. So are we done with bedpan washers, clinic service sinks, faucets, and flush valves? Nope. Nowadays, those toilet-like apparatuses are used pretty much up north or in small hospitals. Large hospitals, if they use bedpan washers at all, would have an automatic machine. Um, and that machine is truly a bedpan washer on both 7493 and 7632A. And for here, you just slip the bedpans and those urine um, containers, just slip them in there and hit the go button and it washes it just like your dishwasher at home would. They're just quite a bit bigger. And that's it. Those are your three bedpan washers. Three different styles anyways. Uh, any questions, let me know. If not, we're going to go on to bidets next. So I am Jeff Rugrock, um, all things unsanitary, and I'll see you for the next one.